NASA releases new photos of Ultima Thule, the most distant celestial body in the solar system that its mission has ever probed. Meanwhile, China makes a historic space exploration after its robotic spacecraft landed on the dark side of the moon. Mon Hock Son tells us why. NASA's New Horizons mission sent home close-up images of Ultima Thule, a 32-kilometer-long space rock in the uncharted heart of the Kuiper Belt. The belt is a ring of icy celestial bodies just outside Neptune's orbit. Here's where we were just, just a couple days ago on December 31st, 2018. This was humanity's best image of Ultima Thule made by New Horizons at a range of about half a million kilometers out. Well, that image is so 2018. <laughs> Meet Ultima Thule. Just like with Pluto, we could not be happier. What you're seeing is the first contact binary ever explored by spacecraft. The images taken on January 1, 2019 show a rock in the shape of a snowman. The images were taken from a distance of 28,000 kilometers, 30 minutes before the spacecraft made its closest approach to the rock. Launched in January 2006, New Horizons embarked on its 4 billion mile journey toward the solar system's edge to study the dwarf planet Pluto and its five moons. Now, 1.6 billion kilometers beyond Pluto for its second mission into the Kuiper Belt. New Horizons will study the makeup of Ultima Thule's atmosphere and terrain in a months-long study to seek clues about the formation of the solar system and its planets. Meanwhile, China says it has successfully landed a robotic spacecraft on the far side of the moon, the first ever such attempt and landing. State media say that at 10.26 Beijing time, the unmanned Chang'e 4 probe touched down in the South Pole Aitken Basin, carrying instruments to characterize the region's geology, as well as a biological experiment. State media called the landing a major milestone in space exploration. The probe has sent some first pictures from the surface, but with no direct communications link possible. All pictures and data are first sent to a separate satellite and then relayed from there to Earth. Mon Hock Son, UNTV News and Rescue.